what is up YouTube welcome back to another video today ladies and gentlemen and in today's video guys it's gonna be a little different because um, I know I love making all kinds of videos but in today's video it's gonna be who is me who am I who am I who I am who is Fidela Moonshed uh, aka me so I'm gonna give you guys in detail like who I am what the things I like to do just everything about me uh, because I have gotten this request a lot to where it's like bro can you make like a you know who am I video so we're gonna go ahead and get started into that guys because I really like like I said guys I do enjoy making videos I do enjoy sharing my creativity with you guys I do enjoy doing all these things with you guys so I feel like what better you know video to make than like to let you guys know who I am so when you're watching me you guys can relate or you guys can like just know the true side of me go ahead and get into it so, yeah so for the ones that don't know uh, my name is Fidella Moonshed uh, F-A-D-E-L-E-L-L-A-H, Fidelala. But in elementary school, I used to get made fun of a lot. They'd be like, Fidelala, la, 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 like a Christmas song. Or they would just call it like a girl name and things like that. So we stuck with the name Fidel. When I was really young, my teacher would just say Fidel because it was so much easier. So I guess that's where it came from. You know, first, second grade teachers, they would say just Fidel because it was easier on the tongue instead of Fidelala. You know, say that 10 times. Sheesh. I always went with the name Fidel because again, it was just so much easier to say, whatever. So everybody called me Fidel, and that's usually what I go by with now for people who just meet me because like, again, it's easier than Fidelala. It's kind of weird because like, I enjoy the name Fidelala more because it's my actual name instead of Fidel. So whenever I introduce myself, I say Fidelala now. So you guys can either call me Fidel or Fidelala, uh, whatever's easier on your tongue, I guess. So the name is Fidela Moonshed, baby. And my background, y'all, a lot of people ask me like what my background is, where I'm from, because I've been told I look Latino, Italian, tons of things, guys, tons of things. But I am actually Arabian, Middle Eastern. My parents came from Iraq and Syria. I don't know if you guys could tell or not. I like to say Arabian, Middle Eastern, but it's whatever you guys want to call it. But I've been raised in the United States of America. So like, I can speak perfect English, perfect Arabic, but it's just like, you know, I, I don't know if you could tell I'm Arabian right off the jump because of how good my English is. Because uh, a lot of people, like I said, the first thing they'll guess is like Latino or Italian or something in that area, you know what I'm saying? Maybe for a video we'll do like a 23 and Me and see if how deep my roots go and where all over the world they come from. But that'll be for another video. Now for my favorite hobbies, I mean, they range from a ton of things, but the main one, the biggest one, you're about to find out. My main hobby, the number one, I guess you could call it a hobby, I guess you could call it like for fun or like a job or a sport, but I genuinely love bodybuilding and going to the gym. It's one of my main things and the reason behind that is a lot of people think, oh, just for big muscles. Not exactly. One of the biggest reasons I go to the gym is when I was younger, I genuinely loved the idea of being able to grow however you'd like, right? So people who choose to be like super swole, whatever the case may be. It's like with the gym, you choose what you want, right? As a kid, what, looking at pictures of Arnold, looking at pictures of Phil Heath, you know, looking at pictures of all these legends, I was like, dude, like you can do something like that. And no, I don't want to be that big, obviously, right? But it was like, it's so cool that you can do that. Cause it's like, to me, like I've always wanted to be different, look different, act different, you know what I'm saying? So like the gym was one of the main things. So like, even as a kid, my parents wouldn't allow me to get a membership till I was 15. So at 13, 14, you can ask any of my family members, I was doing 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups almost every single day. You know, I was like, all right, so I want a good foundation before going into the gym. I was doing all those things just to like, I was in the backyard doing all these workouts just to literally get ahead for whenever I was allowed to get a membership. So that was one thing, that's the physical part of it, the mental side of it for the gym for me guys is like, anxiety and all those things, that stuff's real bro. Like it's real and everybody deals with it in their own way and for me, the way I dealt with it, my anxiety, my stress and whatever the case may be, it was training, 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 training. So training for me, going to the gym, it was like, that hour, hour and a half, however long, some dudes are in there for like four hours. I used to go there three hours a day, but for me, the gym was like a, not just a time to work out, it was a time to think. Think while pushing yourself, because a lot of times I used to make an impulsive decision. What I mean by that is, I would like instantly, like if I was mad, the decision, the first decision that came to mind was the best decision, and a lot of times, it's not the best decision, you know what I'm saying? So. 
uh, for me going to the gym it really helped me a lot with when I was angry when I was sad when I was happy uh, and it just it kind of framed me into uh, into who I am so not just being big guys it genuinely helps me with my stress anxiety and things like that because uh, like I said all of those things are real and everybody deals with it their own way so if I'm just mad I go to the gym I'll, I'll feel better if I'm stressed about something going to the gym helps I guess you could say just having more time to think about something but for me the gym is a big thing that helps me with my stress and my anxiety and so that's another big reason guys why the gym for me is number one uh, you know right after God right after family uh, but like hobbies wise number one because if you have the ability to push yourself to the highest limit possible to your best genetic gift possible it's like bro why aren't you doing it you know what I mean yeah I get it you become a dad and all that stuff but like why why are you not at the top tier of your you know of your ranking of your age whatever the case may be if you have the ability to do so and it's like for me like you just want to be the best version of you possible so that's the two reasons why the gym is number one for me in hobbies uh, because it's just like bro like both physically and mentally it has shaped me into who I am anyways time for a sick back pump Workout. I would say my another favorite hobby of mine is definitely content creating. I like making videos, I like making TikToks, you know, YouTube videos and all that. So definitely creating content is another big one for me. You can always like you're expressing your own imagination, your own creation and stuff like that. So that's a really big one for me. Another cool hobby of mine is cooking. We've got boiled eggs. We got three boiled egg whites and then two full eggs with the egg yolks in them. For the other part of this meal that I had, I had a, a fruit smoothie because like I'm not having any carbs with this because I had a banana and banana has carbs in it. So I had a banana spinach with beets. Yes, beets. Just a dash of milk and water smoothie. Oh, and peanut butter too. And that thing was freaking banging. I like to call it the morning smoothie, but give it a try guys. So uh, a cup and a half of spinach, one banana, a tablespoon or a teaspoon tablespoon of peanut butter a few beet slices in there a dash of milk and the rest is water It's freaking banging and it's delicious. So that's what we got for breakfast 10 out of 10 thank God meals delicious give it a try guys I did rarely go hard-boiled eggs It's just when I don't have olive oil or like some kind of healthy oil on deck um, I would just boil it just to because I don't want to use the other oil so I really enjoy cooking. That's another one of my favorite hobbies. Another, I love like always learning something new. I always want to try to expand what I know about everything I know. So for example, editing, if there's ways I can edit it 10 times better, but it might take a little bit to learn it, I'll do it. Um, if there's, I'm always trying to expand my knowledge on other bases just to like improve as much as possible. That's another one of my hobbies, definitely always learning. And it's funny because in high school, I like going to class and stuff. I was like, bro, this stuff's a waste of time. But none of it's a waste of time. It's a great thing to learn how to study on something, to learn how to like just the basics. So like when I was in high school, bro, I thought like high school, like math and I thought it was all useless. No, it's extremely, extremely important to your future and learning how to do other things, right? Mainly guys, I'm always trying to expand what I know, who I know, how to do things and always just like working hard. So like there's two sides of me on hobbies. There's like the constantly getting better, working hard. And then there's like, you know, sometimes you just want to chill, you know, take a breather. Uh, because I saw this thing, it was like, sometimes your best ideas come from just chilling. Um, like you'll just like, instead of just work, 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 right? You, you set a couple hours of just relaxation and then you'll think of a million dollar idea. You know what I mean? So I definitely have my extremely hard work times, but I also have my, not consistently, but sometimes I'll just chill, like to kick up the bros and then get right back to work. But those are just some of my favorite hobbies. Next, did I do any sports? I used to wrestle, guys. Actually, I did a few sports, y'all, so since this is a good to know me. I did a few sports, actually. So, in roughly junior high, I did everything you could do. So, I did football, basketball. I got kicked off <laughs> uh, for not showing up to practice. Practice was at 5 a.m., bro. Uh, so, football. I'm, we're not going to include basketball. So, football, track, cross country, um, and then wrestling in junior high. Uh, and then I also tried to do We didn't have a weightlifting team, but I was always in the weight room. 
So whatever. And then in high school, guys, I did football my first year and a half. So freshman going into sophomore year, I did football. But then for the ones I don't know, all my whole family guys were all wrestlers, as you can tell by the cauliflower year. We are all wrestlers and we all enjoy it a lot. So it took a while for me to kind of hop on the bandwagon uh, because I was just like, bro, I don't want to do wrestling. Like, you know, I, I really, really enjoy football. And so one time, whatever, I did wrestling when I was younger, but going into high school, I was so set on football. But then kind of football was just like, I guess, I don't want to say it wasn't for me anymore, but I was like, I want to be a champion on my own. And the only sport you can really do that is in like tennis, wrestling, swimming, you know, this individual sports weightlifting. In my freshman year, I did wrestling, but I didn't take it serious yet. So my sophomore year, uh, fun story, I was ready to quit. So freshman year, I did wrestling, but not as serious. Sophomore year, I kind of took it a little serious, but not as serious. And um, that's when I joined varsity. For the ones that don't know, varsity is like the A-team, I guess you could say. Whenever I started having some success in wrestling, I was like, bro, you want to be a wrestler? I know where my heart was at the time. So I was like, let's go and freaking wrestle. Let's commit. So it was funny because as I started wrestling, guys, I started also bodybuilding. Like I was, I held them at the same pedestal. And I was like, yo, let me quit wrestling to go bodybuild, right? So I was talking to my coach about it, one of my really, really good friends. Uh, I was talking to my coach about it, and he doesn't go around. One foot in, one foot out. He wants you either there or don't show up at all. So whenever I walked up and I was like, I, you know, like advertising the idea of me doing bodybuilding full time, he was like, Fidel, what do what makes you happy? And I was like, all right, whatever. So a day came, guys, where uh, you, it's called certification, and it's where you certify in wrestling. And I showed up, and he was like, what are you doing here? I was like, what do you mean? He was like, what are you doing here? You said you wanted to bodybuild. Like, are you just wasting the team's time? This team depends on captains. And when he said that, a switch hit me, guys. I was like, let's become a champion. Because bodybuilding, it's not like a sport sport in high school. So I was like, let me become a champion and do bodybuilding at the same time. And that's exactly what I did. From that day forward, guys, um, I took it extremely serious. And I set out to be the best version of myself possible. And so my senior year, I took wrestling serious. Uh, my junior year, my junior year, I went roughly for like 41 and like four or five. And then um, my senior year, I went 47 and one. And then I went to nationals that year and I won nationals. So that's some of the sports I did. So my main sports guys are wrestling and bodybuilding. And I genuinely love it. I think wrestling is the hardest sport to ever exist. You can argue with me on that if you want or debate. But, like, there's nothing like wrestling. Like, bodybuilding, guys, for me, compared to wrestling, is ten times easier. Easier, y'all. Like, you have no idea how much easier it is than wrestling. Just to give you an idea of a, of a full day of wrestling practice, guys, in, in order to be the best, me and my bro, we were going to do anything it took to become the best. So, before practice, we usually go on a run, have wrestling practice, and if we didn't stay after for another practice, me and my bro traveled across town to go to another practice. Now, that's not everybody, but in order to be the best, that's what it takes, right? So we had two practices in a day and then a three or four mile run. So just imagine that daily. Like, that's why I say wrestling is the hardest sport versus bodybuilding. In bodybuilding, it's really hard because you have to maintain a certain diet constantly, but the working out part's only like 45 minutes to an hour, right, if you're really focused. So those are some of the sports I did. I always recommend wrestling to anybody who just really wants to push themselves and achieve something they never thought they could achieve. Uh, because, shoot, who would have known, right? Uh, but yeah, guys, so those are the, some of the favorite sports I did. After the gym, take a shower immediately. Don't be like me and eat breakfast first. Unless you wait till dinner time. Anyways, cleanliness is key. So take a shower right after the gym, guys. Showered up. Like I told y'all, stay clean, gentlemen. Quick other fact about me, guys. I really, really enjoy reading, guys. Um, not, I wasn't a big reader in high school, like, to be completely honest with you, I thought reading was useless, but reading, when you really get into it, man, I sound like an 80 year old, uh, when you get into a book you genuinely enjoy, I think reading is really fun, so one thing I've been doing is reading while I'm doing cardio, so instead of just being on my phone the whole time, because guys, we're on our phones enough as it is, like, we're on our phones a ton, bro. One thing you can really do to level up is start reading books and stuff like that. So my cardio is roughly like 30 minutes. So in that, I can read a whole chapter of my books. So I, I got a bunch of books, guys. But some of the ones I recommend for new beginner readers that want to elevate their mindset themselves, etc. This is one one. It's called Badass Habits. Uh, great book. Not done with this one yet. <clears throat> and then this one also. It's called You Are a Badass. I really, really recommend these books, guys, because... They're great for you. They're great. They're great reads for your mindset. They're great reads to level up. And those are kind of my, some of my favorite books, just learning to get better constantly. 
So give give reading a try, guys. I know not a lot of people like to um, because I used to do that. I used to be like, it's useless. But really, guys, it's great for you. It's great for your mentality and stuff like that. So I guess that's another hobby, reading. But not like that, bro. Not like an elderly person, yo. Just for fun. Just for fun. Let's go get some food. Y'all already know I had to get that foot long. Foot long's a pretty good deal, y'all. Get a whole loaded up, and I be loading it up. I be loading it up, like everything on the sandwich. Eight bucks, 10 bucks, great deal. <clears throat> and I don't care what anybody says, bro. A tuna sandwich, if made correctly, woo! 10 out of 10. To anybody that loves tuna, you've got great taste. Bismillah. That was hefty but delicious, alhamdulillah. Another huge question I get all the time is what motivates you? And there's really a couple things that motivate me, guys. One being, um, you don't ever want to cut yourself short. And what I mean by that is, you don't ever want to like start something and not be the best in that area that you're in now. So what really motivates me is knowing that if I'm gonna try something, I have to give it my best and I wanna be the best in that area. So one really big motivating thing for me is reach the zenith. Zenith means the top of something. Uh, reach the top of that point of whatever it is I'm doing. So that's one really big thing that motivates me. Another thing that really motivates me is I want to show you guys that anything is possible as long as you put your head down and you get to work. So you guys, it's like a chip on my shoulder in a way. Not that like I have to have that chip on my shoulder. It's like I want that chip on my shoulder to keep working hard, to keep pushing for more and become great. So you guys definitely the third my family. Uh, I would say like get showing them that I'm the best version of me possible is really important to me. Because uh, like growing up guys, it was like who's the best out of all the bros. So for the ones that don't know, I have a bunch of bros in the fam. And with them, uh, when we were younger, we were always trying to like see who was the best at whatever it is we were doing that day. So whether it be wrestling, we, you know, whenever it was your time to wrestle, who's going to, you know, pin the guy the fastest or who's going to work the hardest in practice, etc., 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 or who's going to, you know, get the most medals out of everybody. So we're always fighting to see who's on top. And I know that can like be crazy for some people, but for us, it was kind of normal. Uh, we wanted to be like, oh, I'm number one in this. I'm number one in that. I'm number one in that. You know, and it's a great competition between each other and it really motivates all of us to become the best. So guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the Who Am I video. And get to know me a little bit more. If you guys have any more questions about things that I can answer in Q&A, comment down below, guys. I really do enjoy all of y'all's questions. Uh, subscribe if you're new, guys. I'm trying to hit 10 kajillion subscribers. And like the video if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video.